Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zay here with another episode of Sage Experience. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what's been going on, why have I been gone for the past, like, two, three weeks. Uh, I can assure you I have a really good explanation, actually, for all this. So stick around, and I'll explain the rest to you. So first thing, guys, if you're new to this channel, please go ahead like and subscribe i really i would really really appreciate that it helps out the channel immensely and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content such as this so first things first why have i been gone for so long well there are several reasons why i've been gone for so long and the first one i think i should i should mention is i have a job now again with all this pandemic with all this stuff Stuff that's been happening I mean it's no it's no surprise that um, a lot of people lost their job you know and I was included in some of those people you know I was I was furloughed indefinitely for a period of time and they didn't know if they were gonna bring us back or not which is better than most other people you know but even then that was a situation that I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna resolve or not so the best that I had was to kind of live off of some of my savings and a portion of the unemployment but I still had my payments I still had other things to do just like most other people and luckily enough I was hired back as of very recently and I've been working and one of the main reasons why I haven't done any YouTube videos is I, I've been trying to get that schedule life kind of back back into play you know it's it, it, it can be pretty rough to just go from nothing to everything once again you know or a portion of your daily schedule coming back in such a big way that it's it's super super mind-blowing in my case I I'm a, I'm a creature of habit and so I really like it when things are very static in a certain way let's say like my job my workouts and my food that's good if things happen throughout the day here and there that's cool you know but as long as the core things are there such as my job my workout and my nutrition i'm good whatever happens happens and i love it you know if it's, if it's a little extra and if it's a little weird or super weird more power to to the world and to destiny you know first thing is i got my job back yay the second thing that goes along with all this is I started to create a couple of side hustles that you will start to hear about pretty soon. So that's been keeping me plenty busy, even right now. I'm creating, as of right now, I have kind of three extra side hustles. And the reason why those came to be was because of my lack of a job. You know, I, I started to, I guess the positive side of all this pandemic for me was that it pushed me to create even more things. You know, at the moment, YouTube is not something that's giving me any if or very little to if any money you know adsense is is nothing which is why i started to turn on the ads if you guys haven't noticed and that's just to attempt to get anything in you know which again adsense is nothing you guys can go ahead and look that up but it started to push me to make very ingenious decisions and to start pushing my limitations and say oh well let's start something over here let's start a business over there or let's attempt to do any of these things and you know why not right now is the time if i was if there was ever a time in my life to go ahead and maybe start off a couple of businesses or a couple of things it would be right now i had a decent amount of cash stored up because I, I guess i was you could say smart enough or i was lucky enough to work my way up to build enough wealth to a place where i could support myself and at the same time maybe start a new venture as such as a business and i said you know what right now is the time it's it, i have the time and i was very very happy but it kept me insanely busy right now i'm still super busy trying to get a couple of those ventures up and running and you'll be hearing from them very soon i don't want to spoil any of that but yeah stay tuned to be able to hear from some of those so yeah reason number two was i basically started like two three different businesses number three which i think is a more important thing i've been super busy still with recovering from both of my shoulders and my hip and my knee and as far as the hip and knee, the therapy has been going fairly, fairly well. The hip is still not 100%, but the knee has gotten considerably better. But I've, I've, I've had to do consistent work. I've been on it 
I, I've just been on it, you know. I've been doing all my exercises and it's been helping, but it's not fully healed. But it's in a much better spot. The knee is better by far, but the hip is still like, it's it's still like at 70, 75%. And some days if I go hard or if I try to like run a little bit more than the doctor prescribed, we'll definitely get a pushback from my hip. And so it's, it's a progressive build. And I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that it's starting to progress. So as far as the shoulders go, the left one, I started loading it up a little bit more per doctor's recommendations and it started to be okay, but anything still, when I push overhead, it kills me. Um, th I think we're gonna really have to look into that one, but the right one, they finally did an MRI on it. And guess what guys? Uh, I have a slap tear, which is why that shoulder was just not getting better. And for all, the, all of those who don't know what a slap tear is, basically it's a minor torn piece inside or a minor torn ligament. And it's in the front part of where the bicep connects to the shoulder. So it's, it's actually, it's not a super big tear, which luckily, but it looks like there is some scarf tissue, which means that my body has been attempting to heal itself, which is also a good thing, you know? But now we gotta go in there and remove some of the scar tissue since it's been such a long time and the company finally, finally approved that MRI. They had done an MRI before, but this time around um, they said, the doctor said, you know what? How about we do an MRI with iodine, injecting iodine? And what ends up happening with that is it's basically, as opposed to doing an exploratory surgery where they open you up and they're like, oh yeah, look, it's torn, let's fix that. <laughs> Which is something I definitely didn't want. What they do is they go ahead and they inject iodine right in the center of where everything is. So you can imagine the pain that that, that they, they do put some anesthesia, but I, I felt everything, you know, like I told him, he said, the doctor was telling me as, as he was putting the anesthesia because you're wide awake. They just have you turn your head to the left or wherever. In this case, I was turning to the left because this is where they were injecting everything. And the doctor just told me, yeah, tell me if you feel anything. I was like, I feel it. He's like, you can feel the needle going in. I was like, I can feel the needle going in. And he said, funny, I put in, you know, the, the, re the normal amount of anesthesia. And I said, well, we're gonna have to change that because I can feel everything. He put some more, a little bit more, and I kind of still felt some of it. But as he got closer to the center, because the needle goes in like this much in, like, I think, I think that's how much in, it was ridiculous. I was able to see on this screen that they had on the left, because that's how the doctor guides himself. He was able to see where the needle was going and then as he, as he injected the liquid, then they did the MRI right after. And that shows you where everything is, where all the muscles are and where the iodine traveled. And through that, they can go ahead and detect where the tear is, if there is a tear or if there was anything. And they did find something. Haha, -ha, I wasn't faking it, people. A lot of things have been happening and the recovery for the shoulders is still not optimal, but hopefully we can, something does happen. The insurance has been uh, is starting to collaborate with us a lot more and I'm, and I'm happy. I, I just want to get this fixed again. I, I want to get to, I, I want to get back to my everyday routines, guys. You know, I, I really want to start amping up the content, the content in this channel, you know, showing you guys through workouts, showing you guys through nutrition, what I'm able to accomplish or what I'm able or what we can experience together by me putting myself through the test. And then you guys maybe analyzing and saying, hmm, maybe that might work for me or maybe that might not work for me. And so that's the other thing that's been happening. So number three has been <sighs> my shoulders, my hip and knee, or they've all been progressing a little bit differently and uh, found a slap tear, so. And number four, I think would be the final thing is I started to play as of very recently, as of like a couple of days ago with iodine. I noticed that, and the reason that it's, it's a very kind of a complex thing, but I start seeing a lot of signs uh, as to why I start, maybe should try out amping up my iodine consumption. I started amp ramping up dramatically my iodine consumption. I know a lot of people are worried, but I found a lot of studies that support that we shouldn't be that worried about iodine consumption and I've seen I've just seen way too many positives and they outweigh the negatives which I really haven't seen like any massive case studies of like oh yeah because this person had a bunch of iodine in his body blah blah blah, blah, blah this happened and he started dying no I haven't seen anything so 
I started upping my consumption of iodine progressively. And right now I'm up to about five milligrams. The recommended daily amount is 200. It's 150 micrograms, which is nothing. And then for pregnant women, it's like about 280, 290 micrograms, which you would think if iodine wasn't that important, that doubling shouldn't be that important, but it is massively important. A lot of pregnant women that have deficiencies of iodine actually end up causing retardation in or mental instability in newborn kids. That's one of the primary reasons, actually, a deficiency in iodine. That That is a very, very strong case for it. And let's say you're an athlete. If you're an athlete, you can go ahead and just go through those 150 micrograms of iodine in one word workout and which tends to be the issue with a lot of athletes when they start running when they start doing really high demanding exercises they start noticing that their metabolism starts ramping down or they start having thyroid problems and that tends to be one of the reasons why they start to develop th hypothyroidism and so i started ramping up my consumption of iodine to maybe test you know what happens if i start ramping it up as opposed to you know even keeping it at the 150 to 300 um, microgram dosage the answer is not as straight up as it would sound but I'm trying out a protocol that has gotten me some really good results and I'm kind of creeping out. I started to lose weight dramatically in the past just like three days. I've noticed that my weight has like drop significantly and i had gone to the doctor before to check if i had some hypothyroidism you know some form of hashimoto's or something and they tested my t3 my free t3 and t4 and my overall levels and nothing came out and the doctor said you're doing fine but iodine is one of the things that really helps out control your thyroid this whole weight thing that just the the, the issue that i wasn't able to lose weight or it, it was just so impossible possibly hard for me to lose weight. It just wasn't normal. It isn't normal. So now that I'm figuring out that just by adding a little bit of iodine, my weight stabilized dramatically. I'm, I'm telling you guys, like I'm trying to eat a lot. Like right now, I just had an entire chicken, an entire roasted chicken. And it was because it's, it was 10 o'clock when I when I did that. I usually don't eat this early, but it was because my stomach was growling. It was literally just, just I was super, super hungry. And that rarely happens to me, you know, or if it does happen, I can control it, but not this time. Like today, out of the first four days, three, four days that I've been doing this, I can honestly say that I was, uh, it was a different type of hunger. It was that hunger that you have to have to eat. So I'm, I'm really interested to see what the changes are going to be in these next couple of days. Cause again, my weight's coming down and it's like physically, I can see it in the mirror. Like in the mirror is the most important part. Cause I don't, I'm not losing maybe a lot of weight in the scale. I'm maybe losing like two, three pounds over the past four, over the, over the past four days. But even then that's a lot just for a couple of days. So yeah, super excited to see what this iodine consumption does to my body. Oh yeah. Um, I didn't quite cover the other portion. Yeah. So one of the reasons why I amped it up to that level, five to six grams a day, is in a lot of coastal places like Japan, um, a lot of the Nordic countries, or a lot of places like like Portugal, where a lot of people depend on the sea to, to get their food, those people consume massive amounts, massive amounts of iodine through their food. One good... Uh, example is uh, Japanese people. Japanese people use a lot of seaweed in their food. They use a lot of sea based products and that brings in a lot of iodine, a lot of iodine. I believe the average person in Japan gets anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 micrograms of iodine every single day. So it can't be possible that 200 or 150 is the RDA, you know, like it, it, 
it just it, it's it seems very very low and when you start thinking about how they used to iodize salt or how we have iodized table salt it is obvious that people aren't getting their recommended daily amount or they're even getting far far less and the foods that we're eating if you're not eating a, a carnivore based diet or something that is very rich in in things such as yogurt milk cheese and things of that sort or fish and even not all fish you know like certain fish you know so such as your your acronym like smash sardines anchovies mackerel herring those are the ones that are going to have the most iodine and it depends from the waters it came from and it, it depends on so many sources so many reasons and a lot of people in the U.S. are not getting that nutrition. They are just not. I have never gotten that type of nutrition. And the one thing I, I definitely, definitely know is until very recently, I started drinking a lot more raw and organic milks and cheeses and yogurts. And like I started to become very, very conscious about those foods. And I think it's definitely bringing an impact or it's definitely helping me with this iodine maybe deficiency that I have. It's one of the reasons why I've been ramping up my iodine consumption, guys. But I'll be making a video shortly in the future of how those results are going. So yeah, number five would be I've been really focusing on my iodine consumption and just been really triggering my diet to serve that nutritional purpose at the moment. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in to Zade's Experience. Please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know that deal push that notification bell if you haven't already done so but definitely definitely leave a comment down there let me know what you think you guys want to hear a little bit more about the iodine thing i mean it's it's such a big topic that i'm barely starting to discover and there's so so many papers that it's mind-blowing that this is not being spoken about more the u.s in general you know it, i'll let you know tune in on the next one the next one i'm actually going to be talking about that the impacts that it's had on me so far and the impacts that it's having on my girlfriend so for all you girls out there with maybe some thyroid like guesstimate issues um maybe stay tuned for that one but in any case guys zate out be happy stay safe and keep spreading love enjoy guys Peace.